Comcom Center Medic Engine 76. We've had a secondary PC involving Medic Engine 76. We received the dispatch, us, Medic Engine 76, along with Medic Engine 77. Traffic collision unknown, unknown if there's injuries or not. Westbound 10, uh, right at the Sierra exit. We had a Good Samaritan big rig driver. We found a passenger vehicle and a pickup truck. Firefighter Estrada and I were together. For point of reference, we're in front of our engine. Traffic is going in that direction. So as the engineer hears something, notices something is going to happen, he's, his actions alerted us. I uh, got off the rig and the other big rig driver that was blocking for us, I told him, hey, how about you get on the side, I'm going to put some flares down. He goes, well, I got a flashlight, I will shine it down so the other cars can see you while you're putting the flares out. I grab some flares out of my compartment and I come back here and I light my first one and put it down right here at the corner of my bumper. We would set them out straight out and start to curve ourselves in like this to give people time to realize, oh, I need to go, they were wanting me to go to the left. As I looked up, I seen this big rig was coming at us. So I decided uh, fairly quick to grab the other driver that was with me and uh, grab him and go to the side of the uh, freeway. I was making my way towards the uh, EMS compartment. We are parked sideways, so you could see the headlights coming. Uh, my thing was I knew because of the speed I could see the truck coming at. Um, again, 55, 60 miles an hour, freeway speeds. My goal was to immediately get on the side rail. My initial thought was to jump out of the way as I realized he's not swerving. I didn't want to swerve in front of where I assumed he would go off to the shoulder. I went ahead and sheltered in place in front of the engine. As I was going to the side, I was about two feet from the engine when that big rig went by me. We both felt the air of him go by us and seen him hit and it was the loudest noise I've ever heard. I'm about like this far from the engine. I tripped over something and I fell into this drainage. Uh, and it wasn't like I stepped and rolled, it was a complete on, into, flat on the bottom, onto my hands and knees. Again, looking at the side rails, just seeing it, I mean, it's only a few feet up. You know, you know they're, they're engineered and they've been trusted, but, you know, truly on the other side and your life depends on it, are you gonna trust for these rails to stop? So that's where I was trying to make my distance on this side. He did not have a trailer with him. That would have happened, this could have been a lot worse. Did no injury to fire personnel, but we can get a CHP to expedite. At that point, once we all confirmed we were not injured, um, kind of settled down for a second, then we started evaluating other things. The big point there is that there's no injury to county fire personnel. That's what we were very happy about, and then ultimately everyone else was not injured. That was So it turned out as best as it could. Yeah. These incidents happen everywhere on freeways every day. If you might take an extra second, two seconds, ten seconds out of your day to slow down, let someone else merge, whatever it is, keep an eye on us, you're going to be along with your day in the next 10 seconds. When a crazy incident like this happens, the rest of your life might be affected. You might end your life or someone else's life. The public, as well as the fire department, needs to always be looking out. You cannot be too safe on a freeway.